Hello children, today we are going to see about our first poem, The Long Way Home, written by C.J. Dennis. C.J. Dennis, uh, he was born in Australia on September 7, 1876. He is an Australian poet and he is known for his humorous poems. Uh, he written many books like Digger Smith, The Singing Gardens and uh, so on and uh, he written many short poems like an old master the builders and etc the poem long way home is written about himself for example this is the poem about a boy uh, the boy is cj tennis a boy who back to his home he has two ways but he has to choose any one way uh, the two way is one is short and another one is long way but he always chosen a long way why we will see about why he is always choosing the long way and what are the reasons to choose that particular way okay we will go to the poem now now read poem when I go back from Billy's place, I ha always have to roam. The mazy road, the crazy road that leads the long way home. Ma always says, why don't you come through Mr. Donkin's land? The footbridge track will bring you back. Ma doesn't understand. I cannot go that way, you know, because of Donkin's dog. So I set forth and travel north and cross the fallen log. Last week when I was coming by, that log had lizards and you can't say I stopped to play. If I just search for a minute. I look around upon the ground and if there are no lizards. I go right on and reach the turn in front of Mrs. Blizzards. I do not seek to cross the creek because it's deep and floody. And Ma would be annoyed with me if I came home all muddy. C.J. Dennis Okay, now I will say the summary of the poem. When I go back from Billy's place, I always have to roam the mazy road, the crazy road that leads the long way home. Ma always says, why don't you come through Mr. Don King's land? The footbridge track will bring you back. Ma doesn't understand. Uh, this stanza tells that the long way which he takes is very mazy and crazy. Which means it's very confusing and strange. But still he has taken that way. Why? Uh, his mother always says the boy to come through the Donkin's land because it will bring him back quickly. But he said to himself, mom doesn't understand his problems. Actually, what is his problem? We will see now. I cannot go that way, you know, because of Donkin's talk. So I set forth and travel north and crossed the fallen log. Last week when I was coming by, that log had lizards in it. And you can't say I stopped to play if I just search for a minute. This stanza tells that actually the problem is dog. He is so scared of the dog. But he doesn't want to share this to his mother. Uh, in the last week, while he was coming back, he saw the log had lizards. The boy even stopped to play with the lizards. The next stanza. I look around upon the ground and if there are no lizards, I go right on and reach the turn in front of Mrs. Blizzards. I do not seek to cross the creek because it's deep and floody. And mom would be annoyed 
with me if i came home all muddy this stanza tells that last week he was coming back he saw the lizards but today there wasn't a lizard so he took the right turn and reached in front of mrs blizzard's house if he takes that way from Ms. mrs blizzard's as it is safe for him but he also tries to avoid creek because he knows that he uses that way he would become dirty because it is very deep and floody if he returns home muddy then his mother would scold him a lot so that he is always taking a long way and also he enjoyed to have an new adventures once again i am going to tell a poem in short way the boy has two ways to go to his home uh, but one is short way another one is long way but he is always prefer the long way because he is very scared of donkin's dog and also he have uh, he has an another way that way is also having a creek so he would become dirty um so he always prefer a long way to home uh, your uh, poem is over now you have to underline the rhyming words in the poem and try to answer this question which is given in the book thank you